if you're like us and you wake up some mornings with that urge to use the medium of physics to cause a ring of copper wire to spin as quickly as possible, then here's a really simple way of doing it. These are the things that you'll need to do it. Two types of pliers, sharp craft knife, screwdriver, doesn't have to be electric, two screws, two short screws, uh, some cup eyes, copper wire, this is 20 gauge so that's about a millimetre in diameter, a couple of ferrite magnets, two AA batteries and a holder, and I've got a couple of stiff bits of welding rod there but you can use thick copper wire instead, and a block to mount it all on. Right, first thing you want to do is build the holders for the rotor. This is one, and it's made from the piece of welding rod, and to get it into that shape, what you need to do is take your snipe nose pliers, clamp one end of the welding rod, and just simply twist it around like so, and take your larger pliers and bend the other end out at a right angle like that. Step two, remove one of the AA batteries from your battery holder, take your enamel copper wire, unravel it, straighten it up a bit, leave five six centimeters at one end and then simply wrap carefully around the battery there's probably in total about 50 or 60 centimeters of enamel copper wire here try and keep it as neat as possible and leave about the same amount or a little bit more at the other end now this is the tricky bit, remove it from the battery. Now you don't want your coil to spring apart, so what you do is you poke the wire through there like so, do it a couple of times, pull it nice and tight, use the pliers to do that, but if you use the pliers try not to damage the enamel coating. Then do the same with the other bit, like so. I'm just going to put one turn on that side because I may have left that piece of wire a little bit short. Now you need to try and line these up as close as possible to the centre of the coil. And you can see that they're offset if you look at it that way, so you want to bring, bring them down, bend them out like that, so they're kind of emerging from the coil in the middle as far as possible like so okay not as neat as it could be obviously the neater you make it the better it will work but that uh, gives you the idea step three connect up your power supply to the the parts that are going to hold the rotor so can reinstall your AA battery. You then use the screws and screw cups to make the connections. You can solder it if you want to, but then you've got to figure out another way of actually holding these things in position. I've pre-drilled a couple of little holes. So what you want to do is just put the screw in, not completely tightly just yet, and then slide a little bit fiddly one end of your wire underneath finish tightening up like that make sure it's nice and tight and then do the same with the other side obviously connecting the black wire to that one right next step once you've got the two ends built, you need to just trim off excess wire from the ends of your rotor. You still want to leave a centimetre or two centimetres on each end, otherwise it will just slip out of the holders. 
like so. Now try the rotor inside, check to see how well balanced it is. You can see that this isn't particularly well balanced at the moment and you will need to kind of fine tune that. Oh, that might do the trick. Just try to give it a spin and see how it goes. That's not too bad. Right. Okay, possibly the most important step now is to take the sharp craft knife and to strip the enamel off of one side of the copper wire. Okay, make sure it's only one side, then turn the coil around and strip off the same side from the other end of the coil. Now you can either do this with a craft knife or with a piece of emery cloth or sandpaper, but it's important that it's only one side of the coil. Now with my motor I've noticed I probably made these a little bit tall for the size of the magnet so I've cut myself a little piece of wood which will go under there just to raise the magnets up a little bit. And the magnets go underneath here, coil goes on the holder connect up the power and you can see it trembling with anticipation it's actually started itself doesn't always do that sometimes you need to give it a bit of a kick but that's fairly well balanced because it's actually kind of spinning without dropping out of the ends of the holders and there you are very simple 10 minute electric motor